Uh, we are basically associated with the finance commerce, but there is a curiosity that is in the teen years we have uh, found that two multiplied by zero is equal to two, but two divided by zero is equal to undefined. A uh, could you inclusive manner, uh, you know, say why this call that is undefined two divided by zero. So actually, uh, it is not our subject. So just you are the specialist. You you are the professor or professor. I believe is not age as far as your knowledge is concerned. So we respect you. So in that way, could you explain according to your way? Check two multiplied by zero uh, is equal to two. No, it's zero. 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 But two divided by zero is equal to undefined. But why? A very good question. Um, there is actually a very common answer to this that I will just repeat. So for example, if you think about numbers as they get smaller, like for example, let's say we have 2 million. If we divide it by 1, this will give us 2. Uh, wait, if we divide this by 1 million, you will get just 2. Right? But if we divide this by 100,000, then we will get 20. If we divide this by 10,000, we will get 200. If we divide this by 1,000, we will get 2,000, and so on. So as we get smaller and smaller, once we get to 1, we will get 2 million. And as the denominator gets smaller, the answer only gets larger and larger. So theoretically, the answer should be infinity, right? But really, that comes the question of what we call in math cardinality. I'm sure a lot of the pure math students here have heard of this. So basically, it's just the study of the real size of infinity. So if this is infinity, what is 1 over 0? What is 2 over 0? What is 3 over 0? Are they different from one another? Should one be bigger than the other? What is two times infinity? Is two times two over zero four over zero? Or two over zero or what? So we can't really definitively say that it is infinity either. So instead we just leave it as undefined. 